CapCut Mobile and PC, the video editing giant of all software for the past Lustra, has got competition. And who is that? Fillmore. Fillmore has reached over 100 million active users, which is more than the population of Canada, Australia, and Argentina combined. Compare that to CapCut, which has a parent company, TikTok, with over 300 million active users. But this is for the mobile app, which has become one of the most popular mobile editing apps out there. With the recent launch of Fillmore 14, the desktop version, which is way more powerful than the mobile version, CapCut PC has some serious competition. So, in this video, I'll be making an edit with the two programs to find out which one is the best. With that said, let's get into the video. Here's the inspiration for this edit. I was recently scrolling through TikTok and stumbled upon this edit. It had a next level shake zoom effect with crazy transitions. So I decided to recreate that kind of shake in my edit, but with a football clip. Yes, because why not? Mbappe, to be precise. Now, here are the rules for this edit. One, I'll use the same sound. Two, I'll use the same clips. Three, the final edit shouldn't be more than 20 seconds long. Four, we can't use any other tools outside the software. No light motion, no video, or any other software. This might make the edit a little tough, but oh well. Rule number five, we only have 20 minutes to edit the videos. I mean, that's pretty okay for a mid-level edit, but let's see how this turns out. Team CapCut, Team Fillmore. The time starts now. Here's our clip preview for CapCut. Three things you cannot outrun in this world, folks. Death, taxes, and me. Commander on this side. We got the same clip on Fillmore too. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The ending beats ain't that bad, even though I use the beat 2 option, so I'm just gonna remove the unwanted ones. It's time to generate text, so I'm gonna use the auto caption feature on Filmora. CapCut just keeps lagging, man. Okay, caption generated. I'm gonna add some sauce to the text. Time to add CC, gotta do this real quick. Yet to finish adding sauce to the text on CapCut. Okay, so I'm adding the zooms now. So tap on the clip and select the crop icon, then adjust the frames. Still about to add CC to the clips on CapCut, so I will do this real quick. Damn, it's already five minutes. So I'm applying the same zoom settings from the first clip to the rest of the clips. I swear to God, CapCut is lagging the shit out of me. Damn, bruv. Oh shit, Filmora starts its own. So it's time to add shake effects to the clips. Still applying the zooms to the clips. Now copying the effects to apply them to the rest of the clips. Adjust the effects to fit the short clips. Now adding the overlay effect on CapCut. Still making the shake adjustments on Fillmore.
time to add the overlay on the Filmora Edit. Why is CapCut crashing, man? The edit ain't even that massive. Now, copying the overlay to apply it to the rest of the clips. We are almost done. Shit, the time is almost up. Three things you cannot outrun in this world, folks. Death, taxes, and me. Commander on this off. It's Philip Graves. He's a dog with a bone, and I highly recommend you don't try and take it. Three things you cannot outrun in this world, folks. Death, taxes, and me. Commander on this off. It's Philip Graves. Call sign, Shadow Zero One. He's a dog with a bone, and I highly recommend you don't try and take it. Honestly, even though the time it took to make this edit was pretty short, I won't lie, Filmora was way easier to use compared to CapCut, which was fair enough. Adding zooms, shakes, and color corrections was a lot faster because they were already pre-made on Filmora. But for CapCut PC, you have to adjust the settings manually, just like you do on mobile. This is one of my biggest frustrations in editing. But one thing I love about CapCut is its auto-cut scene feature, which makes everything a lot faster. And checking Filmora, they've got this feature too. I mean, Filmora is just not playing around. Looking at the interface, alone, you can see that Filmora has a lot more features than CapCut. These features make everything easier, even though they can be overwhelming at times. Now, here's something we really need to talk about. Pricing. We've all been victims of trying to use a feature that was free a few months ago, only to find out it's now locked behind a paywall on CapCut. Examples include smooth slow-mo, auto captions, and much more. I personally was a number one victim of this. Why? Well, we just have to move on, no matter how frustrating it is. CapCut's subscription is $89 a year, while Filmora is set at $49.99 annually. Someone might say, but CapCut is $9 a month. True, G. But for $49.99, I get all these features for a full year with Filmora. Come on, we've got to keep it real. I'm a huge fan of CapCut, but when it comes to these offers, Filmora is a lot better, the price is lower, and the features are massive. Like, massive. I don't want to exaggerate, though. You can just try the software yourself and see. Compare it to CapCut, and you'll see what I mean. I've seen a lot of viral AI videos that get millions of views every time they're posted on TikTok. For example, that Yellow Cat AI video. <laughs> who's seen it knows those videos don't get less than a million views daily. I'm sure the owner of that account has made at least $15,000 this month alone just by inputting a script and letting AI generate the video. This feature is available on Filmora and you can access it too after subscribing. Imagine having all of this at your fingertips. It's like having a universe in your hand. For me, CapCut is good, but Filmora is a lot better. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video.